Hello students, welcome back to Tuition Masters and today we are here with grade 9 CBSC, the last prose of your beehive that is Kathmandu. So today we are going to learn about this beautiful travel log which is taken from the book Heaven Lake written by Vikram Seth. So this is the last story, the last prose of your uh, grade 9 main reader that is behind and just we have two more poems remaining and then we are done so let us start with Kathmandu and a beautiful journey there make sure to like this video share your friends and subscribe to the channel right away this is summary under 10 minutes session so Kathmandu this chapter is taken actually it is the extract taken from heaven lake written by uh, uh, Vikram Seth so this uh, narrates the entire journey and experience of Vikram Seth from China till India via Tibet and Nepal. In this part of the chapter, he discusses about two famous temples that is Pashupatinath's temple and the Bodhnath temple, the Bodhnath Stupa, a Buddhist shrine of Kathmandu. So here we are going to discuss about these two temples and what experience did Vikram Seth experience. First of all, when he reached Pashupatinath temple, he was at a confusion. The right to entry is reserved for the Hindus only. While he came, he saw a board on the temple that only Hindus are allowed in this temple. The atmosphere there is of febrile confusion. That means it is too much chaos there. It is a too much chaos over there. People are pushing each other to get the priest's attention, therefore giving the flowers and everything and they are pushing each other badly. When the Nepalese princess appeared, the crowd bows, pays respect and makes way for her. Outside, the Westerners continue to argue to gain permission for entering the temple, claiming to be Hindus. So, the Westerners also want to enter the temple and they act like we are also Hindus only, please let us go. But the policemen and the security over there, if they feel that um, uh, these are not Hindu, they will not allow them. Priests, devotees, hawkers, dogs, pigeons, tourists, monkeys... All of them come up with total fights, confusions and chaotic situations. About the Holy Bhagmati River. The Holy Bhagmati uh, flows by the side of the temple, Pashupadinath temple. The devotees drop their flowers and other old offerings which were done to the god and goddess from the balconies and hence polluted. Author sees that a corpse, corpse is nothing but a dead body. A dead body is being cremated, means the ashes and all are being put in the river. Washerwomen are washing clothes, children are playing and bathing in the river. And there is a small shrine which protrudes, as in a small shrine which appears from the stone platform on the river bank. Legends and stories say that when the full the shrine will appear, the goddess inside earth will escape. And the period of Kalyug will end on the earth. Later on, he describes his experience at the Bodhnath Stupa. In construct to Pashupatinath, there is a sense of stillness at the Bodhnath Stupa. So there is more peaceful as they both are opposite to each other. Why? Because when we talk about Pashupatinath temple, there was a lot of confusion over there. But Bodhnath Stupa is more peaceful. This Buddhist temple has a huge doom, which is white in color. If you see over here, this is the doom, whitish in color. The place is very calm and serene. It, uh, he considers this place to be heaven. That means a very safe and peaceful place. Outside the temple, there is a Tibetan market and people sell bags, clothes, ornaments and many more things. You see there are cows roaming here and there. There are people selling various kind of things. There is something known as a marzipan where there is a corn on the cob with all the covered spices, masalas and everything. As I said about the streets of Kathmandu. After visiting these temples, the author just takes a tour around Kathmandu. He finds it to be a very busy city. He uses adjectives such as vivid, which means beautiful, colorful, mercenary, that means when people are selling things to get money, 
and even religious. These adjectives are used by the author to describe Kathmandu. He finds its narrow streets busy and very noisy as well. The streets are crowded with fruit sellers, hawkers of postcards, and the shops sell Western cosmetics with film rolls and chocolate, or copper utensils and Naples antiques as well. He even buys something known as a marzipan, right, as I said, and he takes some cold drinks and orange juice to digest it. He even is a good, uh, uh, he is interested in reading as well, so he even takes some love story comics as well as a reader's digest. The city is noisy with film songs blaring out from the radios. Car horns are honking, bicycles are ringing, cows are lowing in the street, vendors are shouting their wares. And that way, the streets of Kathmandu are super busy. He sees a flute seller. He is now too much tired and homesick living there and he wants to go to home now. He goes to the office and books a airline ticket back to his home place. In the in a corner of the square near the hotel, he sees a fruit, uh, sorry, not fruit, a flute seller who catches, catches attention. His carelessly, uh, his carefree style pleases the author. It reminds him of the commonality of all mankind and there is no culture that does not have its flute. In, Hin in Indian classical music, Hindustani classical music, the flute is known as a basuri and the flutes in South America and in China it are the high pitched ones. So flutes are universal and it is used worldwide as well. The music of flutes will leave a very deep imprint on his mind and carries it with him when he returns home as well. So students, you can quickly look over here. We have completed with the summary of this chapter in 10 minutes, under 10 minutes. And this is a quick mind map for you to refer. And with this, we have completed with our today's session students. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, share it with friends, and subscribe to channel right away for more such summary in the 10 minutes sessions and other subjects as well. I'll be seeing you in our next video till then take care.